Do, 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 do. The Egg Triathlon by Natalie and Sam. These are our experiments. Egg under pressure. Floating egg. And rubber ball. For our first experiment, egg under pressure, this is the diagram. Egg one. When holding an egg and applying equal pressure to all sides of the egg and squeezing as hard as you can, the egg won't break because there's equal air pressure on all sides of the egg pushing against each other so there's no uneven spots. When applying air pressure to only one side of the egg while baking, we'll see what happens. So instead of applying pressure to all sides, let's just see what happens when I only apply pressure to two sides. It broke. Ooh. For our second experiment, floating egg. This is the diagram. During this experiment, we're going to explain to you how an egg can float and how an egg can sink in a substance. Here we have a boiling pot of water. Well, we started adding some salt so we can make it a saturated solution. We'll check back in once it's a saturated solution. Now that a saturated solution has cooled down, we have a jar of saturated solution made of salt and water and a plain jug of water. The egg will float in one of them and not in the other. Which one? Well, the egg will float in the saturated solution because the um, saturated solution is less, is more dense than the egg causing the egg to float. For our third and final experiment, we are doing rubber ball. In this diagram here, we have a container with a substance and a raw egg. Over here is the container with the substance, which is vinegar, and a raw egg. So when we submerge the raw egg inside the vinegar, Tiny bubbles are coming out, which is carbon dioxide. The calcium carbonate in the, from the egg and the acid from the vinegar come together to create a chemical reaction while the carbon dioxide is released. This keeps on going until all the egg's carbon is gone, making it rubbery and soft, which we'll check out tomorrow. But right now you can see the bubbles created, being created around the egg. And it's a sort of a slippery surface. Right now, it's been 24 hours since the egg has been submerged in the vinegar. And as you can see, it's, rub it's bouncy and it's rubbery. And you can poke it. This is because all the carbon dioxide has been released from the egg's outer shell, leaving us with a rubbery outer surface. Thanks for watching our egg triathlon show. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Bye.